Sometimes you might feel really confused. After discussing something with your friends, various apps automatically pop up content and products related to what you talked about. How do these apps know your thoughts and information? Actually, there are two major areas where your privacy gets leaked, and one of them is the input method. Another one is the clipboard. If you have turned on the cross app APP tracking permission, it will be interesting. Although these apps are not premium, your activity data on these apps will be shared. What the OnePlus app knows is equivalent to what all the apps in the village know. What do you chat about with friends? Input methods know, copy messages, apps read clipboard, smartphones focus on privacy, set permissions. Harmony OS manages app permissions, turn off cross app linking to stop sharing, check clipboard history for app usage, Huawei's Harmony OS leads in privacy, upgrading to Harmony OS, tap to share, shares photos and videos. In the privacy and security settings, you can clearly see which apps have permissions. You can manage permissions for the gallery, microphone and contacts all in one place. Even if you don't want others to know how many steps you've walked each day, you can set that here too. Turning off cross app linking, you can prevent different apps from sharing information. I think one interesting feature is that you can check the access history of the clipboard to see which apps have used it. The data is clear and straightforward when it comes to privacy, and Huawei's Harmony OS really stands out in this area. Harmony OS excels. After upgrading, tap to share stood out. It lets you share photos and videos by tapping. No worries about compression or slow downloads. More apps support tap to share, like sharing shopping links. Send links directly. No WeChat needed. Perfect for gatherings or gaming. Form teams by tapping. No more worrying about whether sending videos through WeChat will compress them, or if using a cloud drive will be slow if the other person doesn't have a membership to download. What to do? Now, more and more third-party apps are starting to support tap to share. For example, you can also share shopping links this way, which is super smooth. So when I want to send a shopping link to my friends nearby, I don't have to send it through WeChat first and then open the link in the app. You can also use it for friend gatherings or when your roommates are gaming together. Just tap this to quickly form a team. Friends can directly enter the game room to play together. I have also used the Hongmeng system for a while. To be honest, some software functions are indeed not fully adapted, such as WeChat is still in beta, but some basic functions are basically no problem, and various software are actively adapting. Give it some time, I believe it will be perfect in the near future. Good words, if the Hongmeng system. Once all the apps are fully adapted, would you choose to experience it right away? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Alright, that's all for this video. See you next time.